going to um, help provide some good chess content because we're not very good at chess. So this everything is new. It's a new camera. It's a new mic, etc. I don't know where this Mainly etc. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm still a little bit hoarse. I need my mantle. You're like a pony. <laughs> a little hoarse. A little bit. Let me get rid of that. Hey, there's output. Hey. <laughs> output? I call him output for short. Output coupler. I don't, I, hey, I don't see. Oh, I was about to say I don't see your mod symbol, but that's on Ben's screen. Um, anyway, let me just make sure everything's settled down. It looks pretty normal, <laughs> except I'm on the screen. It's like, whoa, what's going on there? <laughs> yeah, we, um, wait, let me get this back. Does everything sound normal? Besides your voice. <laughs> I know that I, <laughs> I know I'm losing my voice, but hey, Stafford in and Alberto Romero. It sounds normal. Okay, because I just hooked up, um, a different, it's the same microphone that Ben uses, but it's new to me. And the camera's new. That's true. And I'm using a different, we don't even have a light. I didn't think we needed it. I use a different monitor. We're in a different room. Got a different phone call. <laughs> I don't know oh. where it is. Hold on. They something. gave up. Oh no, it went out of focus. So, all right. Ben usually does it. It's back in focus, right? Oh, is it? I don't know. I can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't know how to fix that. Or, yeah, we're in the third Skittles room. Yes. What about the phone? Oh, because it went off. All right, hang on. I'm going to cover this up. All right. <laughs> that seems to work usually. Oh, yeah, yeah. That might have worked. Yeah, I think that worked. I don't know. That looks better. Where it's hard you, to tell. Why are you more? I think you're more in focus. Well, maybe it's because we're kind of like like I'm further back than yeah. you to get us both on the I screen. think it looks good enough. Okay, anyway, I'm sorry. Hey, Pam, you can hardly hear me. Turn up your volume. All right, let me try this. Pam? Oh, let me try it. Well, other people said it was okay. Let me try Hello. mine. How's that? I'm talking. <laughs> hey, Bishop Tay. Hey, Gwery Sama. Brownie, hey. All right, how's the sound now? I just made a slight adjustment because Pam oh. wanted me to. Yay. Thanks for subbing. Faithful output. output. You will get an emote on the stream one day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, can everybody still hear? It's quiet. So Karen is quiet. All right. I am hoarse. Let me bring him over closer. Yeah, that's because I put the mouse on this side. Yeah. Anyway. All right. How is that? How's that? We can see the microphone now. Yeah, that's, is, I like how it's like red. It's so quiet. Well, darn. What else can I do? Oh, you know what? That's right. Other setting. All right. Hang on a second. Let me just check some other setting. It's better. All right. Hang on. I'm sorry to do all this. Hey, that's not what I want. That's not what I want. Open sound. Okay. Sounds right. Oh, no, that's the same place. Why? We need, like, input. Well. Oh, here, here, maybe. Um, oh, no, no. Where is oh, this? Yeah, yeah, oh, this yeah, yeah. This is good. Yeah. Pay dirt. Okay, wait. Thanks Test for the it. sub. Oh, sorry. Who's it from? I can't tell because it's blocking the window. <laughs> Just Thank you, whoever that was. No, I got to fix this. I'm sorry okay. that I'm not professional. Where is that number? You can set like a level. Oh, that's the problem. Here we go. That's the problem. You just slide that bar on the left. Yeah. All right. This How's is gonna, this? Is this it louder is now? Be great. I just feel it. Loud, right. loud, loud talking. All right, how is that? It's got to be better. Now, come on. Oh, it was uh, oh, GM it was ben? ben Feingold. Okay. 
Thank you, GM Ben Feingel. It also sounds fine. <laughs> I put it at 95. Can you tell any difference now? Yeah, we just put it at 95 just now. I mean, it's better. better. Awesome. I don't know what... All it can be is better. But he didn't say good. It's much, much better, according to... I can't Yay, see what that name Pam. is. Pam. Okay. Pam Beasley. Well, I am talking. All right. We're going to start out with... Um, oh, hey, Grunge Work. We're going to start out with a, a quick hand and brain. And we'll either do one of you guys that are on here, or we'll just pick a random person. Um, and then, then Spencer's going to do some London system work with me. I am talking. You, you got to talk. What do you think? <laughs> you weren't just talking this whole time. <laughs> what? I mean, I'm, how can I Maybe talk? Maybe he wants me to talk more. I mean. Words, words. I'm talking. My, also, my voice is strained. Okay, I don't see any challengers. There is one. Well, that by that same guy. That person is always challenging me twenty four hours a day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why do they challenge you? All I don't the time? know. He's probably not even on the stream. Get some uh, like five minute unrated Yay, challenges. Yay, debugger to be. Hey, somebody, come on, get on here. Yeah, five minute unrated. You hand and brain. Hey, DK seventy nine. Should I be the hand? Um. Well, I don't often get to be the hand. You want to be the hand? Yeah, just don't, you know, don't get all mad if I do the wrong thing. You say that every time. That's because you... I hardly ever get mad. Okay. Did I get mad last time? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's a plausible scenario. Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah. It's, 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 the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> oh, look. Looks like we got a five-minute unrated challenge. Yay. From Olmont. Okay, we'll do that. So, Okay. Um, so I'm driving. Yeah, just click that check mark. All check. right, here we go. Pawn. Yay. Bishop. Yay. Pawn. Pawn, okay. Knight. There is a sound. Well. Hey, we got a hype train. Hype train. Well, who, what happened that we got the hype train? I don't know. Thank Bishop. Them. You have to oh, wait for me to say it. I know. It. All right, well, you said it. Well, somebody did something, and I can't Pawn. look right now. That's how it goes on a chess stream. They know it. Yeah, but, I, you know, I don't want to neglect people. Knight. Neglect them. Neglect them. Mm. This is in keeping with my King. lesson I'm about to get. That's true. I tried. To, I tried to make it that way. Uh -huh. Pawn. I like to do this because I try. I like to keep my jobs good. Just a true <laughs> London player. Oh, <laughs> didn't even know that. Yeah, H three is pretty common. Bishop. Yay. It's uh -huh. like they heard you and they wanted to show <laughs> <laughs> what you meant. <laughs> Pawn. Um. Let's see. Usually I like to open a C file because I don't just know what I'm doing. Night. Oh, I didn't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Night. Uh, Bishop. They're saying I'm, I'm mad already. <laughs> <laughs> are I, you? I'm pretty happy here now, I gotta say. You guys are no good at reading body language. I didn't think you were mad. I think they were kidding. Oh. Uh, let's go with knight. Um. All right, what, we missed something now. Knight. Um, we didn't miss nothing. Somebody did something a while ago. Hey, there's something. Oh, yeah, getting some donates from Grunge. Yay. Thank you. Thank you, Grunge Ward. Let's uh, go with Queen. One of my faves. 
All right, Queen. And one of my favorite kinds of music. <laughs> yeah. Definitely top three genre for me. Uh, let's see, Queen. Hmm. Fish up. Mm. Yeah, two two beach beaches, Vatels. Vatels. <laughs> <laughs> it is two beach up. Rook. I got to play t for the first time ever two bug or two bee in one of those tournaments. Usually I don't get paired with them because they're better than me. How'd you do? Not well. <laughs> <laughs> Bishop. Mm. Darn. Rook. Rook. Mm. Yeah, I didn't do very well. Oh yeah, it's just like watching Ben C.L. Smith. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Spencer. <laughs> A little Obviously bit. Next best me. thing. Hmm. Bishop. go i heard something subscribed earth goddess yay hey Pawn. earth goddess this is our little warm-up then we're gonna do a london system lesson hmm. rook Here we got that passed pawn. Queen. Here, here. One bishop, what else? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Queen. Rook. most powerful family in chess we're like the sopranos of chess <laughs> i like to think um darn i don't have anything useful let's see oh my dad said if he streams for 90 minutes or more or if we do i mean that he'll uh he'll come up and we can raid him okay That's smart. All right, but you got to play on your own now because of the time situation. Oh. Um, let's see. Darn. Let's see, let me go back. Well, I mean, I don't know how long we'll stream, but we can just see about it. 
I'm about to lose this game. Thank you, CD. What happened? They said my hair was great. Glorious, actually. Uh, Glorious. Da da da. Think your hair is awesome. Darn. Well, I have point six left. Okay, I'm about to lose. Darn. I'm sorry. I lost you played well that game, but way too slow. Yeah. I like they've got two minutes left. Well, I forgot to look at the time. Forgot about Dre. <laughs> That's what I do. Is Spencer part of the family? Yeah, he's um my stepson, Ben's son. Yeah. How could I? What? <laughs> I'm the guy's son. <laughs> Such language. What? <laughs> Spencer's hair is glorious. Karen in time trouble. I know. Um, but also, the, everything was new. It might be a regular thing, Earth Goddess. Um, hey, Hermione. Accept my friend request, says Brownie. Where? Oh, yeah. In the corner, you got a lot of notifications. The top left there, those red numbers. Oh, look what you did now. Um, well, I can go back and fix. Wait, where? Don't click it. Just hover over it. Yeah, there you go. I don't even see one. Oh, there Amsterdam. There they are. Oh, are you Amsterdam chef, Brownie? Maybe. No, I gotta fix the stream. No, that's all right. Well, it went back. Sometimes it doesn't yeah. go back. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> I didn't know that. Please adopt me, JMC12. Hey, Mark. <laughs> oh, Mark's in here, huh? Oh, I said darn. That was the bad language. Right. That is pretty, uh, like for you, it's, you know, definitely a swear <laughs> <laughs> by your standards. Well, I I said some ugly stuff one night. On stream? On Ben's stream. Oh, wow. And then I got worried and I delete. um... I went and hunted the video down because I have people spying on me and who shall not be named for many mm -hmm. reasons. And I deleted um, the video on demand because I f bombed it. Dang, that but I kind of like. said it joking around. <laughs> I know more fine golds, um, but um, I'm about to lose my voice. Or do mm -hmm. you want to do the London systems? All right, stuff. yeah. So Spencer's going to teach me some London system stuff. stuff. And, awesome. Um, so let me get the analysis board going. Oh, it's right. I see where it is. Uh -huh. Play. Um, it might be here. Yeah. And then I have to actually go. Let me ch I should have done this first. Never mind. Let me change my scene. I thought you said it was the same scene. It is, but I want to... Oh. Just in case it matters. Okay. Um, yeah, it looks the same. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. Well... Um, Works for me. Okay. So do you want it to drive or do you want to... All right. Yeah, I think if I click start, right? Yeah. All right, awesome. Make sure it's... Oh, no, see, it doesn't oh, look it doesn't right. Look it's because same. of the... Uh, it's because of oh, this. Oh, the bar. We can turn that off unless yeah, you like want this. it on. No, no, it's, I think it's better with it off. Okay. Oh, no, see, that made it even more bad. It. Yeah, you got to fix it. All I right. can't do anything from here. All right, hang on. Oh, wait, wait, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's this. It's this is open. Yes, look, look. Boom, oh, yeah, shakalaka. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Yeah, when you have two games open, it shows that extra I, line. I realized that, but I didn't yeah. even know I had two open. It was I just the last game that the we played. Yeah, open. Um, hey, somebody did something. Oh, I heard it too. Was it Pam? I don't know. Hey, oh, no, no. I, yeah, it was Pam gifted a sub. Oh, thank you, to Pam. To ZL1 Cor Corvette. Um... I always like Blue Corvette in Yay. the song, you know, the Eiffel 65 song. I don't know that song. I'm blue, da boo dee da boo die and da boo dee da boo die What do you mean you don't know that song? I don't Are you know serious? This, I'm serious. I'm sure everybody on stream knows that song. Um, yeah, and then he's, you know, see, I hated that song so much. Obviously, it's a terrible song, but it's still very famous. I think it, it's Eiffel 65 is the band. Oh, I so think you, it's Eiffel 65. What are some lyrics for it? 
you know, I'm in a blue house and I there's a blue Corvette and everything's blue. That's that's the lyrics, <laughs> seriously. Yeah, I don't know. You know? I don't know. Yeah, it's mostly nonsense. Right. Okay, well I'll go I'll go familiarize myself with that song, not culturally illiterate. But I don't uh, know that song. Could have fooled I me. was just <laughs> <laughs> I was just listening to think speaking of Corvettes. Little Red Corvette. You're not a Prince fan. Oh, I know that song. I know. That, that's an okay song. Oh, yeah. yeah. See, here, they put in the lyrics. Oh. Yeah. Yep, th- that's right. Yeah, it's a story about everything's blue, and at night, it's everything's just blue. They talk about the color blue a lot. Oh, it just looks pretty dumb. Oh, yeah. Definitely. And then da boo dee da boo die That's <laughs> most of the lyrics. C.L. Smith says, if I were green, I would die. Right. Yes. All right, well, let's get that lesson going on. All right, so we'll talk about some Lundo stuff here. Um, I think we should talk about, like, the most common stuff first, right? Yeah. So we'll t- well, I like to call this, like, the classic London when they play uh, with Night F6. And they, they try to play, like, a Queen's Gambit decline style, mm-hmm. you know? Basically, that's how I like to study the London is I'll say, like, my opponent's playing in a style of like King's Indian or Grunfeld or Queen's Gambit Declined, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know so many openings. See, I don't, so I can't really put it in my But, I mean, you know I those think. openings, right? Not really. Oh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know openings. All right. But I can learn openings. All right. Starting. <laughs> <laughs> this is, like, sort of the main line. I and used to play Queen's Gambit. So yeah. I know that one a little. Okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is sort of like a reverse... Slav, like semi Slav. Mm-hmm. The difference is that white got his bishop out because you're white, so you got to move first. And um, in the semi Slav, black doesn't move first, obviously. Mm-hmm. So they would play like a similar position, but their bishop's back here and they already have knight out to f3 or f6 in that case because they have black. Okay. But this is like a, uh, a good starting point right here. This is a very aggressive way and classical way for black to play. And most people, like how I did here, you notice I didn't move my knight yet, right? Mm -hmm. It's specifically for this variation. You want to play knight d2 here. Mm -hmm. Let's say you did play knight f3 earlier or here. Yeah. It would be the same. You transpose here. Mm -hmm. This is considered, like, not bad for white, but kind of easier for black because they'll do one of these. You know what I'm saying here? Mm -hmm. Hitting your guy. Mm -hmm. And then C will do this. Oh, yeah. I, that's not what I do. I didn't know I needed well, to. Well, what would you do? Because there's no, like, perfect move here is kind of the point. C1, so I just oh, okay, that's pretty passive, right? Yeah. Well, okay, but <laughs> that's the downside is it's passive. I know, I'm just, I didn't know what the correct move was. So. Yeah, queen b3 would be the correct move. I didn't want to trade the queens. Well, that's an interesting point, you know, because mm-hmm. it's not that one side or the other wants to trade queens, but, see, black will play c4. So the point of queen b3 is you sort of provoke c4. Now you'll just go back to c2. Mm-hmm. And you'll notice in, in the game, the hand and brain game that we just had, the guy played c4 voluntarily, which was bad. He shouldn't have done that. Mm. c4 is not a good move. It releases pressure here, and it made it very easy for us to play e4 when we did. Yeah. You remember when I said pawn, I was thinking you'd play e4, and mm-hmm. that was the right move. Yeah. And that was really good. So you, you sort of provoked c4, and you're like, haha, provoked c4, got you. But um, still black does it because you did waste a whole tempo. Right. And so, you know, it's a little bit of a give and take there. Now bishop f5 is the move hanging the bishop on purpose because the queen's protecting the b-pawn. Mm-hmm. And if you lose your b-pawn, you lose your rook. Nobody I play would ever do that move. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely not. No, I, I, <laughs> but, no but I still want to know. What I agree. I right. still want to know. Oh, this is like the main line. Yeah, yeah, of. I'm just telling you. And this is why knight d2 is mm-hmm. considered a little bit more precise. If we go back, mm-hmm. they can't do the same thing. Knight d2. I mean, they could play queen b6, fine. They could even play c4, all right. But now they can't go here. We'll just take it. And our rook won't be trapped because we moved our knight from d2 already. So mm-hmm. we'll just move our rook away and be up a piece for a pawn or two. So why won't they take my queen? Because then I'll open up the rook. You mean here? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've never seen anybody do this. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. Probably I would play pawn takes, yeah. That seems right to me. At my level, that's what everybody's wanting to do is to trade stuff off. Mm-hmm. 
So what does the eval say real quick? I would think that, you know, it's pretty close to equal. Maybe white has a small advantage. Oh, it actually likes white quite a lot. Almost a pawn up. Hmm. Dang. Well, you are threatening to take for real, because then you can take and play here. Yeah. Although maybe they'll play e5, so it's still not clear to me. Okay. But yeah, this is like benefiting you. You took towards the center, so you're controlling the center more. Mm -hmm. you can and your a file is pretty good, too. Yeah. I was just curious what would happen if they took. Oh, definitely. I mean, that's how you understand the position. You say, like, maybe I'm afraid of this move, or my opponent might do this. Why mm -hmm. don't people do that? Mm -hmm. And then you'll see, okay, a computer really likes it. And you yeah. get a nice open file for your rook. I wouldn't necessarily know how to take advantage of that. But. Well, it's a permanent thing, you know. Like sometimes in chess you have a, a dynamic advantage, mm -hmm. and sometimes you have a permanent advantage, right. like a static Maybe advantage. Maybe later it becomes more apparent what I might do. Yeah. I know that an open file, I know that having the open file is an advantage in some. Right. Oh, it's not going to, like, win you the game, yeah. especially for people 14, 1500. You know, you're usually going to need more than an open file for an advantage yeah. to win the game. Mm -hmm. um, so anyways, this is why knight d2 is good, because it stops that bishop f5 idea. So in this, like, main line here, you want knight d2, and this is an important position to remember. Mm -hmm. And you can remember it. Here's the deal, is that because it's about bishop f5, mm -hmm. it's important that they haven't played e6 yet. Once they play e6, they can't play bishop f5. It's illegal. So you can play knight f3, and you avoid this position. Like, let's say they play e6 here, for example. Okay, but wait, what, how does the knight prevent them from... Playing bishop f5? Yeah. Because if you... My, the point is, if you play knight f3, they can play bishop f5 here because your queen is protecting b2, and your rook will be trapped oh, if you okay. take. All right. Which is why you can't take here. You'll lose your rook. Right. But if your knight's on d2, you won't lose your rook when they take here. So if they do all the same moves... Like this, if oh, they play here, you'll just win the bishop oh, of the for rook. just a pawn, and your rook is safe. All right. Yeah, that's the idea. I didn't know that's what I got con confused for a moment. Oh, no problemo. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, that's that's an important idea to understand, so definitely okay. better better uh, be clear about it. But my point is that if they play e6, they can't play bishop f5 later. Yeah. So now you don't care about uh, all the stuff I just said. Mm -hmm. You can just play knight f3, who cares? You know, they can't play bishop f5 and take advantage of the fact that your pawn is going to be hanging. Mm -hmm. Or, I mean, your rook is going to be trapped. Mm -hmm. That won't matter. And so then you get this position, which is like a big main line. Mm -hmm. And you can also get this via, this via this move order here. If they don't play e6 early, you just play knight d2. Then they should probably play e6 here. You know, that's the, that's the way to get into this position that we just saw mm -hmm. with a different move order. One thing that happens a lot, and you can get to it at some point, because mm -hmm. I've forgotten you, you used to tell me more than once, and then I just couldn't get it straight. But I get, I would go bishop d3, um, and then I would get forked a lot. Yeah, well, don't do that. But uh, that's <laughs> not going to happen in this variation because they play d5 instead of d6. Okay. You're talking about when they're playing like a king's Indian, and we'll look at that next. Oh, okay. Uh, some guy said, John John said, like, it's okay for black to give up the piece for two pawns. It's not, though. Well, he didn't really say it's okay, but he said, you know, at least you get some, like, activity. But I would have to say that, you know, it's pretty much losing without too much of a chance for black. I mean, sure, you get a couple pawns, but a piece is worth quite a lot, especially in the early middle game. Like, in the middle game, the early part of the game, a minor piece is more valuable than later in the game when, you know, in an end game, a pawns might be more valuable. Like, past pawns might be, you know, worth more than they are now. Okay. So you definitely don't want to do this with black. You don't want to give up a piece for two pawns and say that, like, you have a past pawn or, or whatever. It's just not worth it. Also, there are other times that bishop f5 is wrong and people will do it. I'll, sh I'll give you an example. Let's say here they try to do the same thing. Queen b6, mm -hmm. queen b3, pawn q, you go back, right? You, mm -hmm. you Also, you don't want to take for the same reason we talked about earlier. You don't want to give them the open file. Right. And also, then they'll play b5, b4, which is a good idea. So you just back it up. Now, they might do this. Oh, we got a little uh, Frappuccino. <laughs> Thank you, Frappuccino. Hey, Frappuccino. How's it going? Yeah. 
here, uh, just reading some of the stuff that people are saying. Yeah, but uh, output's right. And yeah, so am I. Learn. Wait, what did he say? He's talking about in the variation where he's taking the pawns that you could take the B pawn. Yeah. Um, anyways, here bishop f5 doesn't work. Notice he didn't get his knight out. Mm -hmm. And so now we can take it because if they take here, it, it's mate. Oh, yeah. So that's why they have to get this knight out first. Also, you have to get the other knight out first, too. For example, let's say you do like this move order, mm -hmm. which is a little weird, like this. Remember, we're not playing knight f3, right? Mm -hmm. We're avoiding that knight f3. Let's say they do the same thing, but they didn't get this knight out. Let's see, I'm actually not sure why they can't play bishop f5, but hopefully I'll remember by the time it's on the board. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll take it, and here. And now, hmm. What's the deal? Is it this, maybe? Because the knight on, the knight would defend that. But then when they take the rook, the other thing is hanging here, which I don't like. Mm -hmm. hmm, I'm not sure. It's got to be just take it. Let's see. I'll just rely on what the computer says here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, it actually says equal. That's weird. But believable. Okay, it is queen takes d5. Okay, it's saying queen c1 check. But let's say they take the rook because that looks more critical to me. Mm-hmm. Queen b5. Ah, that's a strong move. Defending the guy and attacking the guy. Mm -hmm. And now it says white is plus one, which is uh, what obviously a high evaluation, but still a complicated position. But obviously if you're preparing this opening with black, you don't go into something that's just good for white, even if it is complicated, unless it's like a little closer to equal. I mean, maybe black could try this, but why would you prepare to be a pawn down out of the opening, mm -hmm. according to the engine? Although, I guess you could play queen c1 if you wanted to do this. Even this says white's a little bit better here. Yeah, I thought king f3. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, it doesn't look like it makes sense, but... <laughs> I mean, this is uh, so messy. Oh, definitely. <laughs> but you can rest assured that if the computer says it's plus one, it's probably yeah, yeah. good for you. Definitely. No, definitely. Yeah, and even though it is messy, you you, uh, you can't really avoid something so good for white. You know what I mean? Like yeah. You can't say, like, I don't want this when it's so good. Mm -hmm. So that's why knight on f6 is important, because it protects the pawn. I see. So that's why if black wants to do this bishop f5 business, they have to have both knights out, is the moral of the story. Mm -hmm. They have to do both of the knight moves. And that gives you enough time to get this position, and your rook won't be trapped. Right. And that's why it all fits together like this for, mm -hmm. for white. Let's see what people are saying. Frappuccino is hosting us. I've definitely lost my rook. Hey, Owen, how's it going? Always play king f3. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> there are 1979 followers. Ben is, you know, at home. He's in the chat, at least he was a while ago. This is the danger in trusting too much your memory and opening lines. You can get made it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. But hopefully you remember that variation and avoid it with black. <laughs> right. So Earth Goddess wants you to expound for a moment on what you mean by dynamic advantage. Oh, okay. That's a that's a good question. Mm -hmm. um, although I guess it wasn't really a question, but uh, yeah, dynamic advantage is one that will disappear eventually if nothing happens. So let's say like a lead in development is a good example of a dynamic advantage. If I have four pieces out, five pieces developed, and you only have one, I have a dynamic advantage in in time. Right, not like time on my clock, but time on the board. So I need to play aggressively and um, play for the initiative, play for an attack, or else my advantage will disappear. Um, and if, yeah, if, like for example, you have more pieces developed than your opponent and you don't play aggressively, you just play kind of solid, castle, prepare some long-winded ideas, your opponent will catch up in development and your advantage will disappear. Um, so yeah, the, the initiative and a lead in development are typically, you know, good examples of a dynamic advantage that they will disappear, as opposed to like doubled pawns. That those will stay on the board unless, um, you know, unless you help them undouble them. But like double pawns are generally going to stay on the board, or an isolated pawn, or mm -hmm. or two bishops. You know, those advantages are, are static, static advantage. Right. Yeah. Also, um, somebody was saying, where was it? 
Oh, it already went up. Someone was saying they get in trouble with their palm storm. Palm storm? I, I haven't really had that problem. Let me scroll up. Hmm. CD Lotremont says, I'm a newish player and a London player, and I get in trouble with storming pawns on the king's side and down the middle. Do they mean their opponent doing that to them, or they push the pawns and it doesn't work? Sounds like that happening to me. I don't really have that issue with If you home. are having problems with your opponent playing yes, very okay. aggressively on the king side, you're probably not controlling e5 enough. If you let them play e5, black will be very happy. And this is like something that in this variation of the London, when they're playing with d5, you don't want to let them play d5 and e5. Uh, obviously, they can't oh. do it here because you win a pawn. Well, that's when I was talking about when I get four. Okay, I guess I All Right, but that's one. in like a d6 variation, yeah. which we can also look at, definitely. Yeah. And maybe that's what they were talking about, too, mm -hmm. like in a King's Indian variation. So we'll definitely go over that as well. But yeah, I do have the problem where they get that e-pawn push, mm -hmm. pushing. That's true, but then I just move my knight and then open up the c-file. But I don't know if that's my place to do that. Well, yeah, it ain't going to depend on the position, right? Yeah. Let's uh, turn off this stuff. So, yeah, but you have to handle uh, each, like, each way that your opponent can play. The London, you have to handle it a little bit differently when you're playing with white. You can't like always play the same way. Like a lot of times, people are like, "I'm always putting my knight here. I'm always putting my bishop here." Mm -hmm. And what are you gonna do about it? You know, punk. And then I'm like, "Well, if I play certain variations, that's not the optimal setup for for white." Mm -hmm. In our game that we just played, the hand and brain game, you, the opponents sort of played like this. They played e6 a little early. They also put their knight here, which was worse. Um, but anyways, you played bishop e2, which is not a great square for the bishop in this variation. Mm -hmm. For example, the main line, let's go over it, e6, knight g f3, uh, bishop d6, bishop g3, castles. The main line is bishop d3. Mm -hmm. Magnus likes to play bishop b5, for the record. He likes to... See, I was talking about how e5 is an important square. Mm -hmm. So he likes to put his bishop putting pressure on that knight because okay. the knight's controlling e5 and so magnus wants to lock down on the e5 square and that's why he does this mm -hmm. there are some move order issues with playing bishop b5 um you know not that it matters too much but it is an option but bishop d3 is like you know the most the old schoolest way to play hey and it's so cold in here do you think it's cold uh, i can turn this it's down just up one here. degree yeah. all right just so it goes off We'll turn it back colder just so Ben gets the Oh, I did turn off. <laughs> you just went, At hey home, Star. whenever I turn it off, it takes like 10 seconds to turn off. You know? Yeah, it does at our house too, but here it's real quick. Anyway, sorry, let's go. Anyway. The London opening is her favorite opening. It is. I used Hermione. to play um, Queen's Gambit. I like the London better, though. You're welcome, CD. You got it. But um, I just... Um, yeah, I love the London. I mean, it's solid. Yeah, it's I, solid. I get. I'm not very good tactically, so and I don't know if, if this is. It's good for me, but I don't know if it's because I'm not good tactically. But I get into Maybe. less trouble. It seems like <laughs> maybe yeah. because it's so solid. So bishop d3 is a better square in this variation when they're playing. Like I said, I, I'd mm -hmm. say that Black's playing like in a queen's gambit declined way. Mm -hmm. I'm only saying that because they're playing e6 with their bishop still on c8. And I think that if you have black and you play the queen's gambit declined against the queen's gambit, that against the London, you should play this way with black. You can just try to develop your bishop like this, like how black usually does in a queen's gambit declined. Yeah. And so if they do it this way with d6 or d5, e6, then your bishop definitely belongs here. As opposed to in a king's Indian setup when the pawn is here and the bishop's there. Mm -hmm. Oh, it won't let me do like arrows that make no sense. So I'll have to do it like this. Being catted. Well, I know. Then it's worse it's to be bad. Here. Yeah, yeah, that that I know because Ben told me that. Yeah, but <laughs> anyways, when it's like this, then you want bishop d3. So you gotta yeah. understand both ways. Mm -hmm. You know, you gotta play bishop d3 in this variation and bishop e2 in the other one. Um, because yeah, you, you'd like to sometimes play e4, and your bishop helps control e4. Right. Like a lot of times, strong players will castle, play queen e2, and then play e4. Maybe take on c5 first and play e4. And um, this is why it's good for black to keep the pawn on c5. 
to put pressure here. Mm -hmm. It's a lot easier to play E4 when they release pressure by doing this, like how our opponent did in our hand and brain game. Mm -hmm. Then it was very easy for us to play E4 with no downside. We don't even get like an isolated D-pawn or anything. So, I mean, that's something that I wouldn't really do is take... Take and play E4? Well, it might be something to or try out. Or take the C pawn with my D pawn. Yeah, I, I would say you would basically only do this if you want to follow up with a quick E4. Because mm -hmm. I, if you play E4, you might get an isolated D pawn if your pawn is still on D4. Oh, so you're just dumping it. Yeah, I'm just saying I don't want an isolated pawn. You know? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, because I have all these rules, beginner type rules in my head, like, oh... Mm -hmm. You know, don't take towards the center, do this. Mm -hmm. So, um, but I, I guess what you're saying, since it's going to be isolated anyway. Right. So you're just. I mean, I'm sure a beginner rule would be don't have an isolated pawn, <laughs> right? <laughs> I know. Yeah, I know. I'm just yeah. telling you that's how I think. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> um, that's not even like the main way to play. Like, I'll show you the main line. Yeah. I know this pretty well. I had like a lot of blitz games against Robin Van Campen. Um, mm -hmm. when he uh, when I was in St. Louis and he was like the grandmaster in residence mm -hmm. and he even told me he's like wow Spencer you're really teaching me a lot about this variation from our blitz games <laughs> <laughs> I was like thank you and then he beat me every game but actually I did win one game <laughs> I did win one game anyways b6 is the main move mm -hmm. and knight e5 is the main move here trying to uh, win the free knight I suppose mm -hmm. and then they'll develop their guy and then we'll play f4. So it, the character of the game is kind of like a stone wall now. Mm -hmm. You know, like you'll see this a lot at our chess club uh, because of Deepak, right? <laughs> Deepak teaches all these kids to play the stone all, wall. All over town. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And here the mm -hmm. it's a little bit better than the average stone wall just because our bishop is not trapped here. Mm -hmm. We could just get our bishop out this way. Yeah. And uh, so yeah, I know some pretty fun variations here. Like this is what my games with Van Kampen went. I had black, I played like this. He played queen f3, not the only move. Queen b1 is also pretty common actually, just to get on that diagonal. But we'll just go over this here. Then I played like this. Then he played bishop f2. And now here's the move, bishop e7. You might be like, why, why are you doing that? Now after he played g4, I just went knight d6. And I'm trying to get into this square with my knight, you see. Mm -hmm. Because you played f4, like in a stone wall, e4 is weak, like in a stone wall. Yeah. So we maneuver our knights in there. And uh, this is a really solid position for black. I remember the computer likes black a little bit here. I remember the evaluation was a little bit better for black. Let's see, it says equal now. But yeah, a little bit better, right? Bit, yeah. 0 0.15. Yeah, I remember that from uh, studying it, you know, a while ago. So this is a nice maneuver for black. And even though it seems weird for black to play like bishop d6, then bishop e7, the, the reason we changed our plan was because you made a drastic change to the position playing f4. So you have to be flexible when you're playing in any opening. If your opponent drastically changes the situation, you have to have the wherewithal to adjust. Mm -hmm. And um, and yeah, this is the best way to go about it for black. Hang on one second. Hey. Okay, you've got your mask. Hey, can you get me another Coke? Thanks, sweetie. So that's basically the main line of this variation. Any uh, any questions, student? <laughs> well, Let's see if the, the chat has any. Yeah, let's see what's going on over here. C4 is explosive. Never do that. Did you get tested for COVID yesterday? <laughs> Yeah, so, okay, we should take a small break. Hey, Kappa. No, well, well here's what I did. I got really, they got me all paranoid on Ben's stream because I felt really bad yesterday. Mm -hmm. And um, my throat, but I didn't really have all the, I was telling you about it. Anyway, I did go to the, the nearest drive-through COVID testing center, closed at 7. So I jetted over there because I think Ben ended the stream at 6-something. And I, right when I got uh, almost there, there was a f one of those flashing signs that said the testing center was closed because it was full. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so I drove past it, and you could see all these cars in line. Mm -hmm. um, and um, so then I just went home. 
So you didn't get tested? No. <laughs> that, that's my long-winded story. But I did try to get tested. But then I felt better today, so I didn't bother with it. I've been feeling pretty good today. Um, my rating, Hermione, my current USDF rating is probably around 1,300. And I got in the low 1,400s briefly. Even maybe the mid-1400s. Maybe mid. I don't remember. Um, but um, so I don't, I'm trying to st start studying chess a little again, see if I can improve my skill level. I'm not that good. <laughs> um, I'm only here for the chess. Go, Karen. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Earth Goddess. I am feeling better. Um, and Kappa. Did you want to go over the next? Sure, the yeah, if you wanted to. Yeah, the King Absolutely. Pin. Is that with King Pin Dian? Yeah. You know, like I said, it was it's not the, uh, the proper King's Indian because you're playing a London, mm -hmm. but it's like how a black would play if they were a King's Indian player mm -hmm. against the London. Because, <clears throat> like, it well, l let's talk about, like, the regular King's yeah. Indian for a second. Like, this is the King's Indian defense, right? Mm -hmm. Like this. Yeah, you, you could castle or play d6. White can play, like, ten moves here, but let's just go with this one. So when the King's Indian, black gets castled really quickly and uh, gives white a big center. It's a hyper-modern opening. Mm -hmm. Black is allowing white to get a large center and will attack the center um, later, you know, maybe even pretty soon, but not in the first three or four or five moves. And uh, this is really popular amongst players who uh, they like to win with black, like Kasparov. Mm -hmm. Kasparov, liked to, he's like, I'm the best player ever. I'll just beat everybody every game. So then he would play a sharp opening like King's Indian Defense or Nakamura. Nakamura likes to win with black. Some people, they don't care so much to win with black. You know, like, uh, I don't know, maybe Fabi. Mm -hmm. But Fabi still plays pretty aggressively with black. Um, Anand. <laughs> Anand doesn't care to win with black. It's like, oh, draw, great. <laughs> Giri. Giri doesn't try to win with any color. But, yeah, if you really, like, want to win with black, you usually play Hyper Modern Opening, like this one. Or, like, the Benoni, you know, like. The class I'm teaching <laughs> on Tuesdays here, the virtual class. So tell me, like, before we keep going, so tell sure. me, like, which o openings you think are hyper-modern? Um, well, Benoni. yeah, King's Indian, Benoni, Grunefeld. Um, you know, those would be good examples of D4 openings. Nimzo Indian, uh, Queen's Indian. You could basically bet that any opening that has the Indian suffix Indian. <laughs> yeah. is, is a, a hyper-modern opening. Because when chess was invented in India, uh, pawns were only allowed to move one square. Mm -hmm. And so we pay homage to that by naming openings where they only move pawns one square something Indian. King's Indian, Queen's oh, Indian. I didn't That's know why that. it's called that. Yeah. Oh, a little well, chess that, history for well, you. Yeah, now make it easier for me to remember. Absolutely. It's an opening. Yay. So yeah, any, Nimzo Indian, King's Indian, Queen's Indian, Benoni, Grunfeld. Um, against one E4... It's going to be usually the Peerts or mm -hmm. the Sicilian uh, or Aliakin's defense. Mm -hmm. That might be about it. Yeah, Peerts, Sicilian, Aliakin defense. I don't know if any other off the top of my head. I mean, I would, but maybe I'm just forgetting it. Hey, Kelly Gambler. Some people um, don't care about winning with white. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I've uh, met Coach Jay Stallings, but I don't know him very well. Do Thanks, you know? Hermione. I don't know who that is. I oh. think I've seen like their Twitter, but I don't know. Maybe mm -hmm. not even. Mm. I met him, um, I think, at one of the national scholastic events. Oh, yeah, the modern is an, a good example, the modern defense. It's sort of like a peer. It's the modern defense. Mm. Um, is Ben banned again? No. <laughs> he was only suspended. <laughs> That's true. In the first place. That's true. Well, a lot of people call it the ban. Mm -hmm. No, I just decided um, to stream today and to um, try out all the new equipment I bought and to get Spencer involved. And that's, so that's what we're doing. All right, let's keep going. All right, yeah. That's, so this is like how black plays in a normal King's Indian. So black can play kind of the same way against the London, like this. Mm -hmm. You know, and then here. Now here, remember all that stuff about like them playing queen b6, and then you play queen b3, and they play bishop f5? Mm -hmm. That's not related to this anymore. So we don't have to worry about like not playing knight f3. 
Remember, I was saying before yeah. you should delay night after. Yeah, that doesn't matter here. You just play night after right now. Okay. And you should. So now, what I get at the lower level a lot in this position is they want to take my bishop. And they'll mm -hmm. go knight h5. I'm glad you mentioned that. Now, there are some move order issues here related to exactly what you're talking about. Okay. Basically, you never have to worry about that until they play d6. Okay, so show me why. <laughs> All right, let's say they do it now. Okay. You just go here. Okay. And now you'll then, trade dark square bishops. Then let's say they go f6. Oh, where's the emote? Never play f6. <laughs> I know. All right, they'll get your dark square bishop, but at what cost? <laughs> at what cost? <laughs> Yeah, they you don't they don't want to play f6, block their bishop, and weaken their king. That's yeah. an ugly move. So you provoked them to play a bad move, and yeah. that's your compensation for giving up the dark square bishop. Okay. And um, that's why d6. If they play d6 first, like if they play it here, for example, mm -hmm. they're uh, they're threatening knight h5. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. And so you can totally play h3 if if you want. Now there are some tricks actually. Let's say you play here because you forgot. Mm -hmm. You could just play h3. I think that's the safest way to go. But you can play here too. And then, oops, I forgot that. Now, a lot of low-rated players, they'll just go here, and they'll say, oh, I lost my bishop pair, and they'll start crying. But strong players, they don't give up concessions like so easily. Mm -hmm. I'll do anything I can to either save my bishop pair or get something from you to tax usually, you for it. I usually go bishop g5 and make a move with Now you're talking. Little, exactly. And then I come down bishop a4. Mm -hmm. I know I'm going to lose it, but I do that actually. Yeah, make them do this, right. I do that. And there's also a little trick here, by the way. Whoop. Yeah, one of these. Oh, okay, yeah. Counterattacking the knight. Um, and here black can play knight f4, I believe. Yeah, getting crazy. <laughs> getting crazy. Um, and this actually makes some sense for black because black is uh, attacking, you know, the bishop still. And also note that you've played bishop e2, so you can't, like, just move your bishop because I'll take here and say check. Oh, I see, yeah. So you actually, like, kind of have to take the knight. Mm -hmm. I actually think that you more than kind of have to. You just absolutely have to. And then they'll take your bishop. So they made you do this instead of making you do that. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's worse for you to play e takes f. Yeah. Because now your d pawn's hanging. Mm -hmm. And you gave them double pawns. They gave you double pawns. They have the bishop pair. You have more center space. This is playable. You know, this is complicated. Mm -hmm. I'm not really sure what the computer evaluation would be, but it doesn't really matter because you can just avoid it with white if you want by playing h3 once they play d6 back here. So, like, once they play d6, yeah. to go back another half moon. You could play h3 to avoid that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, not sometimes, a lot of times I do an early h3 just because I don't know what I'm doing and I don't want to lose my bishop. <laughs> well, that's fair. But yeah. um, if you play h3 too early, they can take advantage of that by playing c5. Not that that really matters too much mm -hmm. either. Um, but yeah, that, that's why usually d6 and h3 are like correlated moves. Okay. So that's a, that's an easy I way I that I can that. that I remember it at least. Mm -hmm. um, I could also mention like they could play d six earlier, right? And now like you don't really have to worry about this as much because remember how I was talking about when your bishop's on e two he plays knight f four. Mm -hmm. Well, here if they play knight f four, he's not threatening the stuff because we didn't play bishop e two yet and he didn't play bishop g seven. Oh yeah. So now you could just play bishop g three. And then they'll play knight g6. Okay. So kind of a funny variation. Both sides are like hanging their pieces over and over, and then nobody takes anything. They just retreat. Mm -hmm. And But I think white should be pretty happy here because uh, you didn't give up the bishop pair, and you made them play g5. So I don't know. I don't think black should do this, actually. Yeah. So even if they play d6 early, you might not have to play h3, like here. We didn't have to play h3, and like I said, that position's white should be satisfied. But you still can. I mean, if you play h3 here, it's not a big deal. Really. Um, but okay, let's say they do. Actually, you know, my favorite move order to do with black is to play, like, castles first. And then the bishop, remember, it goes to e2 here. 
this is where you're playing bishop d3 and they play d6 eventually play e5 and then fork you mm -hmm. because they didn't play d5 here they, they're going to play d6 and e5 and this is where you're, you're talking about how you, you're getting forked mm -hmm. and this is where the other guy was saying maybe that he's getting pawn stormed on the king side yeah perhaps maybe and so that might be the problem that he's having as well i see what you're saying I never thought to move my dark square bishop that way. Yeah, I... Mm -hmm. All right, CD. Yeah, you got to make him pay. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly right. First time. Hey, MT Mir. Sorry we're ignoring you guys. No, I think we're getting to him. <laughs> um, I think we are. Let's see. Hey, Dr. Bojangles. <laughs> yeah. I always want to sing the song Mr. Bojangles when I see your name. Do you know, uh, did you see Homer Simpson singing it? No. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a, there's an episode where Homer's, like, panhandling because he gets a lot of money panhandling. Yeah. And so he was singing the song in the in that episode. I always <laughs> think of that whenever I see Dr. Bojangles. <laughs> who, know more, who knows more about The Simpsons, you or your dad? Hmm, that's a close one. I would say Mark. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know if Mark's still there, but. Yeah, bishop on e2 is the way to go in this variation, bishop e2. Okay. Now, um, so d6 is like a King's Indian style. They can also play c5. I would kind of say that's in a Benoni style. If you remember mm -hmm. the Benoni lecture from uh, last week and mm -hmm. also coming up this week. Yeah. In the Benoni, we're playing c5 early, and we play with g6, bishop, g7. And you and I have had many blitz games from this position where I play c5. You and I have had tons and tons yeah, of those games. Yeah, and I think like that. that what I usually do is play C3. That's correct. You should play C3. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, that's uh, like a lot of times, black, including myself, they'll just double Fianchetto. Mm -hmm. And then they'll set up like a ready, but with black. And then I can go to either square, really. And so, and then you'll set up like a London, you know, like normal London stuff. Mm -hmm. And you can have that position with either color, actually. Like, it could be colors reversed that white plays like a King's Indian attack and then plays like a ready with C4, and black sets up the way white is setting up here. Mm -hmm. Basically, same position, just colors reversed. And so that's very common as well. And a lot of people, they'll play either, like if they play the London with white, they'll play that way against the King's Indian attack as black and get the same position with colors reversed. Yeah. So that's something that some people do. Now, you have to play it against the, like a traditional King's Indian where they're going e5. You have to play that a little differently. You shouldn't set up with c3. It's a little bit too passive, actually. You want to actually play with c4. Not right now, though. Mm -hmm. They play d6, so you know what to play. Um, h3? Yes, h3. Now they're going to try to arrange e5. So they'll usually play like this. Again, mm -hmm. c5 would be, and c5, c3 is like, you know, the double fianchetto, or they could play differently, actually. But mm -hmm. um, let's say here, we can just castle. Now, a lot of times, players with black will play a mistake here. They'll play rook e8. Maybe rook e8 is not a mistake. But the idea is that they want to play e5, right? But you'll notice that after c4, they actually cannot play e5. If they play e5, it looks like you can, you know, where you can count to three, three, and then three. Mm -hmm. So if there you got three attacking and three defending, that should be okay. The problem is your rook is overloaded. The rook is defending the queen. You'll notice that these pieces are going to get traded, and the queens are going to be lined up. And we can trade the queens, and then the rook will be overloaded. I'll show you what I mean yeah, just on the board. It. Take it. They'll take back. Just give me that. They take here. We'll trade the queens. Now your rook is uh, overloaded. It was defending both things. Mm -hmm. So rook takes here, and then bishop takes and now white's a pawn up because hey. he got that pawn. Oh, here comes the Coke delivery. <laughs> the drink, not the, uh, you. you know, yes. substance. Did you get, oh, is that me straw? Uh, yeah, it's in the back. Okay, thank you. Nice. Got all your bases covered there. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's why this is not good for black to play rookie 8 and e5 like that. It loses a pawn. There might be some tricky way to get some compensation, but. Okay, you, you put it on the other side. So usually it'll be queen e8. <laughs> queen e8 to play e5 so that there's not a trade here. And the queen will be able to guard e5. Okay. c4, e5. 
You got it. You can do it. Why don't you just rip it open? Okay. I'm not strong enough to rip it open. <laughs> God, I gotta teach and open stuff? <laughs> it's tough. It's tough being a chess coach in these times. Here you I go. Think. Now here, a lot of times people with white, they'll take, but you should just back it up. Turn around, back it up. Drop it like it's hot. Bishop h2 is just fine. You don't mind them to take on d4. You don't mind them to push e4. Both are fine. That's but, what I use them to. Is awesome. Well, yeah. oh, great. You're already on the right track then. <laughs> so now, um, now here's the deal. Like, they're going to try to attack you on the king side, maybe. If they do, you should get counterplay on the queen side. That's why it's important here for white to play c4, where normally in a London you're not playing c4 mm -hmm. in most variations. But in this one, we are because we got to uh, we got to play aggressively on the queen side. You don't want to let them just attack on the king side and you're sitting there defending mm -hmm. and not doing anything. Yeah. Then uh, then you haven't really, you know, succeeded in your opening. But here. So you think it's um, abnormal you said, to play d4? Or? Yeah, usually you don't play c4 in a London. Uh -huh. I would say maybe maybe twenty percent of the time, you know. Because if they had pushed the pawn, like I would typically go. I don't know if it's correct. Um, knight d2, and then I would go c4 after that. No, no, you want knight c3. Your knight's better on c3 than d2. No, the other knight. Like if they push oh, here. d4, then I have to move the knight. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, then, then this knight goes to c3. Yeah, yeah, we're on the same page. But then I'm saying that sometimes I'll push the pawn to c4 after that. Well, okay. I mean, I don't really know what move order I they know. could I do mean, that so exact. early in. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, I tried to play e5, like, as early as possible for, for black, so I don't really know how you could play it earlier. Maybe you could somehow. But anyways, yeah, that, this is exactly right. You want d2 for this knight, so you want this knight to go to, to c3. Yeah. And in the London, if you play c4, you usually play knight c3. If you play c3, you usually play knight d2, which makes sense, because mm -hmm. you can't play knight c3 then. And c3 is generally better than d2 for the knight. So you'd play the c3 if you could. Mm -hmm. And yeah, actually, I think that even playing e4 is kind of wrong here. Um, I think that black probably plays like queen e7 and moves the rook and does stuff like that. Like just sort of plays, keeps tension in the center. Because uh, if they close it down like this, it makes it so this diagonal won't open up because they pushed past instead of they, they, there's oh, no tension yeah. here anymore oh, yeah. so it makes it a lot easier for you to play knight c3 rook b1 b4 and attack on the queen side without that diagonal opening up for their mm -hmm. bishop so this is a, a little bit anti-positional for black to do that actually mm -hmm. and it's tough for black to get an attack because you're just so safe here with your bishops like you're guarding all of these squares and it's tough for them to like what are they going to do they're going to play like this no I guess they're not. Yeah. So it's just sort of tough mm -hmm. for them to attack on the king side, and it's a little easier for white to attack on the queen side. This is already considered good for white. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, my dad says he'll be here in 45 minutes or something. Well, you have to leave. Oh, yeah? In, 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 uh, yeah, in 27 minutes. Unless you bum, want bum, to. <laughs> <laughs> Unless, um, I mean, not that you have to be here till the end, but, um, I always go for c5 in the King's Indian. Mm -hmm. That's not necessarily wrong. That's just more like a Benoni than a King's Indian. You know, King's Indian where you play c5 is, is more like a Benoni. Most people would agree. Um, like we said, you could play c5 even here, like early on, instead of e5. You know, like around here. Mm -hmm. Or even here, I gave c5 here as a move. Mm -hmm. I do that with black, actually. You do what? I play this with black. Oh. Maybe yeah, that's how I handle the London usually, especially if my opponent's like lower rated, because this is a pretty dynamic way for Black to play. It keeps a lot of tension as far as like Black's got a lot of options. Like Black could play with d5, or Black could play with d6, e5. Mm -hmm. Black could play all on the queen side. So it, it's a little bit more flexible, um, and I think you know if you're trying to win against the London, this might be a good way to go. But you have to be worried about like some move order tricks. Like, if you uh, want to play this against the London, so you play knight f6, and then your opponent plays knight f3, see, they're still, like, keeping it close to the chest, whether they'll play the London or will they play c4 and play, like, normal. Mm -hmm. 
So if you play g6 to try to get into that variation of the London, and then they play c4, now you're going to have to play King's Indian or Grunfeld with black, or Benoni with c5. And so if you play that way with black, that's fine. If you don't, then that's not fine. So you have to build like a coherent repertoire against the London and fit it with um, c4, you know, c4, d4, c4 kind of openings that white could do. Mm -hmm. Darn, you know so many openings. That's true. <laughs> What's your favorite top topic to study, Karen? Tactics, openings, end games, something um, more specific. Mine is checkmates. <laughs> well, I think I, I don't really study chess a lot, which is un unfortunate because I That's love true. chess. <laughs> <laughs> I just play here and there. I would say that probably what I do the most of some tactics because it's easy just to do a few tactics um but is that your favorite thing to do no i'm horrible at tactics <laughs> <laughs> well you can be bad at something but it's still fun for you i like them but um no i mean i actually prefer i do like um open i, I like in game study a lot the little bit i've done those kinds of puzzles so that's fun but um Oh, oh. Herm Hermione's asking, what about me? What, what yeah. do I like to do, study the most? Hmm. Well, I don't study chess too much because I don't play very often. But I really like to study the middle game the most. Hmm. And I definitely like to study stuff that's uh, like sort of uh, based around strategy and like more complex middle game stuff. You know, like finding an idea that's difficult to understand. But then once you study it and figure it out, you can really... Uh, dig deep into it and, and it makes a lot of sense you know that to me that's the most rewarding yeah personally hey def b4 dishonor 211 <laughs> i usually just say like the first thing <laughs> <laughs> me too <laughs> yeah i wish i need to study more chess i mean i enjoy all aspects of it but i probably do the most of <laughs> oh let's tier one gift to mj feingold thanks zl1 hey didn't corvette get a gift sub and then corvette gave a gift sub yeah paying it forward yeah thank right? you <laughs> good memory yeah thank you z1 i just remember because of the song the what is it z1 corvette z1 corvette. what's that zl1 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 corvette thank you <laughs> Oh, hi, trying not to learn. <laughs> oh, yeah. Trying hey, not trying to not to learn. Yay. <laughs> How's it going? Ben's going to stream in a little bit, but um, it's not, I'm not sure if I'm going to stream until he streams. Maybe. maybe we'll see maybe. how it goes. Um, I could, at the very end, do some random brainwash or do something with some random brainwash, I suppose. Um, why what? do you think? Yeah, why do you think it got so popular? Because of Magnus. Yeah, that's Magnus what I was, was playing the London a lot, and mm -hmm. uh, it got pretty good results, you know, as you'd expect, because he's the strongest player in the world. Yeah. But yeah, usually it's just a matter of fashion, you know. Uh, like, a lot of people just will do what Magnus does because they're studying his games anyway, right? You might as well study Magnus games, so and then you're like, oh, I know the London now because I just was studying his games. Oh, so. Ben's hoping I'll write him. All right, well, mm -hmm. I'll keep streaming then. Um, I don't have a stream trying not to learn. I just assist Karen and my father's streams. <laughs> hey, Twitchy, how's it going? I'm only going to stream for another few minutes until Ben gets here. I'll probably stream till 8.15 Eastern Daylight Time. Let me get that right. <laughs> yeah, I sometimes <laughs> wonder. As Ben will get upset. Um, <laughs> boo. <laughs> but um, are you gonna get some sushi? But then Ben's gonna be streaming, so um, yeah, yeah. So I'll be there probably. <laughs> yeah, you do have a Twitch account, Spencer Superior. I like that name. Yeah, well, it's from a, a Pokemon. Oh, there's a Pokemon named Superior. Oh and, yeah, you and told so me it's Spencer Superior. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm pretty clever. <laughs> So, anyways, that's about it for, you know, the London. You know, those are the two most common things that you'll get. Okay. So, so I don't know if you want to do a different thing. Um, like, maybe, um, you know, you're, you'll play somebody, like, on the stream. Like, one of these people. Yeah. 
Can you maybe do that? Analyze the game. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I can like make facial expressions. <laughs> Yeah, I could play Expressing somebody if somebody disgust. wants to play. <laughs> See, I said, oh, well, okay. Oh, thanks for that 200 cent to do this. Oh, yeah, there was a noise. Sorry. Jay, Gro- Jay, Jay Gorgas. Grogas 2801. <laughs> Some of these names are Yay, pretty tough. Yay, thank you. If you can call you people. Right. <laughs> don't ban. <laughs> okay, well, let me... Um, oh, yeah, you don't have to choose between Karen and Ben streaming. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I, um, I'm sure I would lose. You messed up the name too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll happen. <laughs> Streamers are kind of used to that, though. All right, so should I, I mean. Yeah, why don't we uh, get some challenges going, you guys? If somebody will challenge me. Challenge um, Karen, and then she'll whoop up on you. This. Do I need oh, to you got a couple of challenges already. Should I change scenes? No way. I don't even need no to. No way. I'm on this at the wrong scene. But it's the same. It's the same. All right. Neuronomen. I'm glad you learned something, CD. That's what I'm going for. And Azaris. Who was first? So that's a 10 minute. Sandy P. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got to get Sandy P on there. That's, it is a three minute game. That's though. funny I know in real life. All right, let's. All right, and plus, is he doing rated? He, yeah. He may, may not even know I'm streaming because I don't think he would say he's just. Right. Gonna, just randomly challenging. Yeah. I could play him. He's going to crush me. That's the spirit. No, I mean, it, okay, I, I'm going to play Sandy P, and then I'll play some. Although he's not on the stream right now. Well, you can play Kappa then. Yeah. Kappa's on the stream. I saw him. All right, all right let me do, all right, there's a, all right, let me do this one. All right. All right, I'm going to play you Kappa. Love Don't you, forget Kappa. to move faster. Oh, wait, where, oh, my cursor went away. Yeah, that's. I'll read the chat while you're doing that. Okay, yeah, do that. It's not letting you challenge Karen. That sounds like a you problem. Because, you know, other people challenge Karen. Yeah, I like three or five unrated. What time control do you want? Yeah, three or five. Three or five. Now, let's see um, if I can remember anything, which I can't. Well, we didn't even look at this because they played Night C6 and moved right, I'm going here. But, um, yeah, I guess Sandeep was um, challenging me. Karen does not usually play too much bullet. Oh, well, I have played her in some bullet online, <laughs> but it's definitely not her preferred time control, I would say. No, I play it sometimes. Karen declined your challenge. That's not true. I didn't decline <laughs> it anything. It should still be up there. Oh, uh, Neuronoma. No, I think it's you next. I didn't decline anything. There just were a few, mm-hmm. and that was all. And I didn't know who to pick. You were definitely... Um, Actually, I have more time. Do you need to be friends to challenge each other? I don't think so. Yeah, I didn't think that was the case. Um. Oh, but maybe you have to have your challenges set to allow all oh but we'll worry about that later yeah you got too much chess to play right now <laughs> yeah because i don't think i've um you know excluded anybody that i know of oh um, trying not to learn subscribe yay thank you trying not to learn one sorry subscribe. that i was so instructive there i know that you're trying not to learn but <laughs> maybe you just like muted it for when i was teaching about the london <laughs> Yay, thank you, trying not to learn. We've got yeah. some Russian or something there, I don't know. Uh-oh. Maybe Croatian? I'm not sure. Hard for me to tell. Where's that? Oh. Just worry about your game. I'm reading the chat. Okay. Well, I got all interested for a minute. Oh, is he trying not to learn? It's demanding a game now. You know that he uh, donated. Well, I mean, that's valid to demand a little. Yeah, I can do one, but I had some other people too. Oh, you have to be friends first? Well. Well, you could just accept people's friend requests after the game. That's true. Either way. <laughs> he said I, I wasn't really demanding. That's true. I was exaggerating. 
Yeah. I didn't think he, he's not a demanding type. Mm. It's a pretty uh, solid game so far from both players. Mm -hmm. Dang, every move is best. That's what you were told? Hmm. What? No, I'm just reading the chat, so don't worry about it. Come on. Yeah, maybe that's true, Pam. Oh, maybe I should maybe be Maybe it's that. true. John. I don't think that's true. Karen will add some emotes to her channel when she feels like it. Harmony. True. Usually she's busy adding emotes to my dad's channel. That's the, uh, you know, that's the reason. But we talked about some emotes for her channel. Like a sock that said darn. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. I like it. Because you say darn all the time. Oh, yeah. I didn't even know I did that. <laughs> Karen already has the Karen emote. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Corvette says you should play faster. Okay. I didn't want to say anything, but, you know, I'm just reading the chat. <laughs> that was a pretty good move. Yeah, I wish I hadn't done what I did with these pawns. I wish I'd taken. Mm -hmm. I agree with but, that. But um, it was already done deal when I thought it through a little bit better. Oh, well, anyways, no need to worry about it now. Just worry about what's happening on the board. Yeah. That's all you can do. Always sock the exchange. That's funny, too. But we can't have two sock emotes. Sock oh, that's right, darn. <laughs> <laughs> well, I could darn something else. Darn a... Uh, what? Dress? I don't know. A sweater? Guess it usually is a sock. Okay, let me see. Mm. Um, I know they're not going to touch me. Do you know that though? I do. You say you do, but you're not playing like you do. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Smart. See, both sides have two bishops, so I don't know who's better. One sixteen. Oh no, they have a whole new minute. All right, Kappa, I'm gonna speed it up. Darn. You guys just have to turn up your volume. Pump up the volume. Don't you know the song? Yeah, Earth Goddess knows what what's up. <clears throat> yeah, I've got a um, new microphone. It's just the thins. Harmony, just cast a wizard spell like you would in Harry Potter. Two bishops about to else. Yeah, I know, but both sides have two bishops. So Komarov wouldn't have anything to say about this position. What's the spell to make stuff louder? Well, I don't know. I'm not really a, a Potter fan. What do they call Potter fans? Potheads? Is that um. <laughs> That's what I would call them. Potter fans? But don't they have? They do have a specific name. I think it's Potter heads. No. They yeah, don't. instead of pothead. You 
could still win if you play really fast every move. Like I would. Just pretend it's a one minute game. Nice. <laughs> Good thing you're so quiet with that swear. <laughs> Nice. Get some pre moves going. Get your pre moves going. Pre move in the chess game. Looking for a pre move. Any legal move will be okay. <laughs> oh, it'll be Ben Feingold in 12 minutes. ETA. Good game, though. <laughs> really a tough one, I would say. Uh -huh. Did you want to um, do a little analysis of yeah. it? Yeah. Can you can you stand it wait maybe and just take All it right. in front of it? Would that be okay? Sure, I could okay. do that. Yay. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Yeah, it'll only be a little bit after yeah, if he like shows up. Maybe like ten rounds. Or All right. Just a little bit after. Okay. G -G, Thank you, Kappa. Said Kappa. G -G. Kappa was a good sport. I'll give that thumbs yeah, up. Yeah, hang on. Try not to learn. And also, there was the other guy. Mm -hmm. Whose name is hard to say. Hey, Ash, you weirdo. <laughs> where, how do I do it where I analyze it? So, like, um, is there like a button to press? Go back. Oh, here, here, right? Yeah, that's it, that's it. That's it. Um, oh, but see, it keeps it, it on. Wait, wait, what's the deal? Oh, it's okay. It messes it up a little. It doesn't matter. A little, yeah, just it. barely. It's fine. I'll yeah, that's see. okay. I can still see what's going They on. can just deal with it. <laughs> Dang, look at that accuracy. 92. I would have thought you were cheating if I wasn't watching you play it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 91.8 and still lost. Yeah, and you played more accurately than they did. That's not fair. I'm always slow. <laughs> That's true. Kappa, you did well, too. So this move we didn't talk about. This is like how you would play a Chagorin with black. Remember mm -hmm. I was always saying that, you know, like I, I like to liken it to like if they play Queen's Gambit, this mm -hmm. is the Chagorin. Okay. Right? So... The London, and then this is like a Chagor in London. Now, personally, when I play the London, which is pretty rare, but when I do trot it out, I like to play bishop b5 when they do this. That's just me personally. Mm -hmm. I like to play bishop b5. Because remember how I was talking about this square is really important? Yeah. And bishop b5, like how Magnus plays bishop b5 in the main line. Oh, yeah. So uh, it's messing up all my arrows. Took away my arrows for no reason there. But anyways, so yeah, that's the deal. How do you do the arrows? You just right click. Oh, right click. Yeah, that makes arrows and And every time we add a new one, it does a different color? Or how do you get a different color? I didn't add this arrow. It says knight f3 is best. That's why oh, that did arrow that is green. Out. Yeah. Okay. But I think you can alternate the colors by holding control or alt or shift okay. on the keyboard. Okay. And also, I like it when they don't move this pawn. Because then if I take and take, that's a very bad pawn structure. Mm -hmm. It's worse than if they had the pawn here on c5. That would be a little bit more palatable for black. So that's why I, it, when I play the London and people play a Chagorin style, I like to play bishop b5. But that's just me personally. You totally don't have to do that. Your opponent played it like this, but then also played like a King's Indian. Mm -hmm. So I liked all the stuff you did here. You yeah. could probably even play h3 now because even though they didn't play d6, their knight is controlling the square. So if they play knight h5, you can't really play bishop e5. Yeah. But, I, th I forgot about it. <laughs> right. Yeah, see, it says that h3 was best. Yeah, I would, and then I remember. I'm like, oh, yeah, I right. would go ahead and do this. And then they should have done that. Now, yeah. knight d2 is not a good move. Well, mm. maybe because of knight h5, but if you want to play c4 like you did, remember I was telling you to play c4, knight c3. Oh, yeah. Right? But you played knight d2, c4, like I told you not to do. Yeah, well, I couldn't remember when the heat of the moment. The games. It was the heat of the moment. <laughs> <laughs> so this one, yeah, they oh, should always be playing knight h5. And then you played this one, nice. Yeah. And then they played here. I thought that was interesting. Um, 
And then you played c4, that makes sense. And then they played here. Now, I would probably take, but rook c1's best, so what do I know? And then they took. I guess if you take, they could play e5 soon, so. I this thought looks about good. taking. Now, I didn't like cd because. Well, maybe it's okay. Let's see what the computer says. It says it's best, yeah. Oh. They have to play knight takes to protect their pawn. Yeah. So yeah. that that makes it logical, yes. That's what I was trying to open it up. But then I didn't like what I did later with the pawn. I liked b4, even though it says it's inaccurate. Whenever you play the best move, I don't like it. And when it, you played an accurate move, that's what I would have done. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, I like b I think b4, b5 is the idea. I would yeah. do that. I mean, unless you're going to play e4 and d5, which might be better. Mm -hmm. Like rook d1, e4, d5. In fact, the computer is playing this to obviously prevent that. You know, the computer is playing bishop h6, which is a pretty weird move, but makes sense to stop e4. So I guess it really wants e4. Yeah, it wants rook fd1, I assume, to prepare for, for that. This. I thought b5 was best, yeah. Bishop d7's got to be best. Now I think you should just take it. Yeah, that's what I wish I did. Like, yeah, you said so yourself. Mm -hmm. The nice thing is, like, they'll take with the bishop, of course, but then you can play knight e5. Mm -hmm. The classic London knight move, right? And then you can target there. Yeah, I always get my knight. Yeah. And uh, then you get two bishops. What else? <laughs> also, there's a problem with a4, is that you weaken b4. Yeah. And that is a problem because they can play this. Mm -hmm. And if you just keep your pawn here, they can't really go there. You just kick them away. Yeah. So it, it's weakening to play a4. And mm -hmm. that's why computer doesn't like it. Even still, you're still a little bit better. Because you have more center pawns. Well, it, it turned into a problem with them pushing that pawn. Yeah, they've got a passed A pawn. Yeah, so that's... Yeah, I thought this was the right move. Although, like I said, every time it's inaccurate, I think it's best. <laughs> it just shows you what I know. Here. Yeah, this move loses it because of bishop d6 x clam. Although it still says e4 is best. But bishop d6 was a really good move, mm -hmm. I thought. But then they found a tactic out of it. Queen a5 is best. Absolutely, because now you can't win the pawn because of knight c3 at the end, yeah. which your opponent found. So that was a really nice play. Mm -hmm. uh, it wanted rook a first, but it would play knight c3 yeah, after. Yeah, the... Yeah, so that was a good defense. Even here, you're a little bit better because your pawn structure is better. Mm. Yeah, they should probably have played bishop takes because they want to trade these bishops. Your bishop's better than theirs. But it doesn't matter too much. So it's equal material, but you've got a better pawn structure. And their passed pawn is not very potent right now. Mm -hmm. Bishop f8, always play that. And then bishop b6. Yeah, I would definitely just trade it and then play rook b1. Or rook b1 instead of trading. And just play rook, let him take. But I want to play rook b1 because mm -hmm. he's got weak stuff here. Yeah, I thought about it. Yeah, I wasn't sure what to do. Because I didn't yeah, know rook have a good b1, that's what you do. Bishop. Well, I did later, but there was other stuff. Yeah, you blocked yeah. it. Yeah, I know. That was the problem. Yeah, I realized that. Actually. It wanted to just play rook b1 immediately, yeah. Just rook b1. Yeah, right when I went over there, then I was like, oh, man, now I don't have my um, open, skewer. Yeah, open skewer. Yeah. Open for bidness. So you played this. Rook c8 is great. Rook b1 is still good. Mark Feingold says, I liked b4 when the rook was still on c1 because black might have fallen for knight b6. Hmm. When was that? Like around here, I guess. So it must have been at, too loud? It must have been here. So everything's too loud. Hey, Poxford. Voice is better, it says. <laughs> no, Poxford says the um, board sounds are too loud. Whatever. Deal with it. I can turn oh, it yeah, yeah. You can deal. You can deal with it. Then. <laughs> Either way, is that better? Oh. So Mark is saying e4 here. Instead of just the knee-jerk recapture, hoping his opponent will blunder this move, because then it's fork down. Oh. That's, that's what Mark wanted. Computer doesn't like e4 that much for some reason. I guess you just don't blunder it. Yeah, you go here, and now this is hanging. And you have to take back your pawn, but your pawn is hanging. You could still play bishop c7, which is interesting. Yeah, that's interesting, but um, you don't want to play, like, for example, you don't want to play e5 and block your dark square bishop and weaken your d5 square. Oh, yeah. That's so knight f6 might refute the idea of uh, of e4, at least. Not really refute it, but 
you know, punish it a little bit. Recapturing was the computer recommendation. Still wanted E4 even there. Oh, maybe even here it's good, though. Yeah, maybe here he means E4. Mm. Yeah, here E4 is best. Yeah, so this is probably what he meant. Oh, okay. Yeah, he probably meant it right here. And then, because uh, now, you know, you already took back the pawns. So you don't have to worry about that. If they go here, you can just defend it. And you don't have to worry about recapturing the pawn because you already did that. Mm -hmm. And yeah, knight b6 would get bishop c7 fork still. And it's it's nice to just play e4, d5 anyway. Like, that's a good idea. You get a passed d pawn. You know, maybe you wait a little bit on d4 because it opens up the bishop and rook for black. But mm -hmm. you still, you you know, you have a majority in the center. You have two against one in the center on the D and E file, so you wanna you wanna push it. You wanna make that pass pawn because they got a pass pawn, so you should get a pass pawn. Uh, it seems that seems like the pawns are weak though because Stephen doesn't have two isolated pawns. Yeah, that's true. I mean, you already have one isolated pawn, mm -hmm. so you're just making another isolated pawn. But you want a pass pawn, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> you know what you're gonna do? Let him have a pass pawn and you just do nothing. Mm -hmm. Come on. But yeah, I think that uh, your your play was in general okay. Like in general, it's okay to do this. But you ended up just trading a bunch of stuff. Yeah. And it's like pretty equal. I mean, he still likes you a little bit. I wanted bishop takes b5, but yeah, then you could have still been better. So it wasn't a big deal. I like rook a1. Then you went back here. That was a blundo. But you're already pretty low on time at this point. Yeah. I don't know what to do about my time management. Well, this is pretty bad. You have 54 seconds. Then after this move, you have 35 seconds. Yeah. So you've got to not do that. <laughs> yeah. You can't have you can't use there 20 seconds on a go. random move. Yeah, you got to just play like rook well, 7 or something. I was hoping for something better than... Okay, your bishop is hanging, so it's kind of tough, actually. Bishop. Yeah, it's kind of tough because you don't have a great there, bishop move. Because if I'm there, then they're going to move their rook onto the a-file. Hey. Maybe you could do this. But takes, takes, here. Mm -hmm. No, I was worried work. that he put, would um, yeah. pin it, and then I would lose my. If rook. you go to the A file. Yeah. So maybe you so. could play rook b1. That's what the computer says oh, actually. Oh yeah, I should have done that. But then you'll I give up two give bishops. Up the file and... and two bishops. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you give up a pawn. That's worse than giving yeah. up two bishops. Yeah. Ben is here. <laughs> Do they know that? Screen. So um yeah, go s get set up and I'll give you a raid. Oh boy, I get a raid. I mean, I don't have. <laughs> he he was analyzing yeah, with us. Yeah, he's been participating. No, he's, he said something. <laughs> uh, he said, "Oh, sorry." <laughs> <laughs> he says some weirdo and he's security, some weirdo in the back. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh yeah, here you hung the bishop, but it was too fast for you guys. Yeah, he didn't. Even well, he has over a minute, so he could have seen that. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, here you were threatening bishop takes e6, very sneaky. Very sneaky. See, I would be even sneakier. I'd go here. Oh, yeah, darn. Then you would do this thinking that it's good and the computer would agree with you. I thought it would be here. Mm -hmm. Oh, because rook d7. See, I, I messed up my own trick here. Dang it. I thought there, there was some trick there, honestly. But I. But he just got out of it I was just any tricks. I was yeah. Just but yeah, basically only lost because of the time situation. Because this is an, an obvious draw. And you guys played it fine. You know, this is okay. I mean, he shouldn't trade knight for bishop because this is like a rare position where the knight is just better than the bishop because all the pawns are on the same side of the board. Wait, now say that again? In this position, the knight yeah. is better than the bishop, so I wouldn't trade knight for bishop because the pawns are all like on the same side of the board. Oh, so the knight likes it better with the pawns because they're having to run all over the board. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because the bishop can go faster. Definitely. Yeah, all right, if there were like really pawns over that. here and stuff, Strategic then thing. I would say that you should mm -hmm. take the bishop, but I see you know, I'd go here. He was just going to win on time, so he didn't care. He was mm -hmm. like, yeah, my opponent has three seconds left. <laughs> so. Hey, I may not get to play you trying not to learn in the other guy whose name I can't say very well. Bore out. Bore yeah, because it's about to be stream time, um, GM stream. Yeah, Ben's about to stream, and I've got some children I need to tend to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Spencer needs to go. So let's see. Um, is he You think he's already now? set up? I don't know. Hey, are you setting up now? You're too quiet. Nobody can hear you from that Well, far. I'm losing my voice. I'm in the third room. 
the Master John. Hey, Master John. How's it going? Oh, we know him. Yeah. Absolutely. Hey. <laughs> Miss you guys. Miss all my people. The Master John. <laughs> um, so I don't know if I should play another game or if I should not. Oh, hey, Nur. I known him. <laughs> <You> <laughs> I'm sorry, but no, 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 you are the guy whose name I can't pronounce. <laughs> oh, he is, uh, he's streaming. Okay, so he yeah, just so started, we'll, we'll or I'm going to abort you guys, not abort you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Comma, you guys. <laughs> I'll play you guys, Neuronome, and Nomem. Nomem. Next time. And try not to learn one, two, three, and anybody else that challenged me next time. Thank you guys, and Owen, oh, and um, thank you guys for sticking with me. I had about 50 people the whole time. That's awesome. So I Solid. love you guys. Thank you for my subs and bits and stuff <laughs> and for participating. You got here late, Master John, but we're about to raid Ben now. So you can watch his stream. So I, oh, I have to tell you guys this real quick. Um, last time I streamed, when I, I forgot to click stop streaming. That's true. And when I raided Hans, it um, it was still capturing what was going on here. And Ben was suspended at that time, was not supposed to be on camera. But so he was on it for a second. He came in there and we were talking. And I said, why mm -hmm. is it this? And then I stopped streaming. So then I had to go back and delete the video on demand because I was worried he would get even a worse ban or mm -hmm. suspension. Anyway... It worked out. Nobody saw it and reported us. Now, let me bring up OBS. So see you guys. I'm going to click stop streaming uh, and then raid. Thank you guys so much. Love all you guys. Stop streaming. <laughs>